it's yesterday once again in the valley. The army is out on the streets of strife torn Srinagar. The clock has turned back several years. Looking at the request of the state government and uh, seeing the situation on the ground, it became necessary for the army's presence to be there uh, and to do a flag march. But I'm sure that the moment uh, things are under control, uh, everything will return to normal. In the cycle of angry protests and harsh crackdowns, this is the most critical move. But was it necessary? We are terrorizing people. At the same time, we are also demonizing the army because we are saying we are going to put fear in the hearts of people by bringing in the army so that they stay calm. I don't think okay. that's the right thing to do. As Kashmir burns, the man at the helm is missing in action. Omar Abdullah seems to have lost the plot. Just 18 months back, he was the valley's messiah of hope. Is virtually given a handle to the separatists to mobilize the masses. The hardliners are gaining strength. The youngest chief minister's charm no longer works. Omar's paradise lost is our top focus on center stage tonight. Well, for the first time in 21 years, the army was called into Srinagar city today to maintain law and order. Is this an indictment of the Omar Abdullah government? And curiously, where is the chief minister as his state burns? We'll put those tough questions on center stage. Welcome to the show. I'm Zakhar Jacob.